Hi, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL. I see you bought your radio, and you may have bought a hotspot along with it. You may have even gotten your hotspot in a bundle, that is, with some pre-programmed frequencies, or maybe you're just starting brand new with a code plug. So anyway, you got all these frequencies entered, and they're not showing up on the display when you scroll through your channels. Right now, all my hotspot frequencies are in here, but none of my analog frequencies are in here. And I know I put them in in CPS, and uh, a few of you probably did this too, and you're probably wondering, hey, what's up with that? I'm actually going to step over to the computer here real quick to show you how to get these to show up um, on your display um, as you scroll through your channels. It has to do with what zone or zones you create and then how you add them. So I'm going to step on over here right quick and show you how to do it. Today I'm going to show you how to add um, your newly added channels to your radio so that you're actually able to view them. That is when you change channels. And what we're looking at right here um, is a repeater that I've just added to my code plug. Now this repeater that I've added to my code plug um, is appearing only on the channel list right now, but it is not appearing on the screen of the radio when I change channels. So let me show you what you need to do in order to get this to display on the front panel uh, when you change channels here. So I'm going to go ahead um, just on into CPS here for my 578. Uh, I'm going to go into channels and you're going to see that we have this set up here right now. Here channels 1 through uh, 12 we have set up for use on a DV mega hotspot. So we have our frequency pair for our DV mega hotspot. And we have some digital channels, some DMR channels for our DV Mega Hotspot. Now, what I went ahead and did was I added um, the Blue Springs Missouri repeater 147.015 positive offset, and uh, with the CTCSS tone of 151.4. Um, so this was added as an analog channel. This was added in turbo mode, and by the way, if you're using your 578, you're going to want to go ahead and place most of your analog channels in turbo mode, as you're going to get um, some pretty good coverage from that 578 there with that 50 watt signal. Um, I do believe that um, I can be in downtown Kansas City, in fact, and communicate with this repeater back in Blue Springs um, using a 50 watt setting, and that's with all the buildings and everything down there as well. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty good little shot with that radio. I've been having a lot of fun with my 578 here and I hope you have here as well. Um, so anyway, analog, turbo power, it is a wideband because it's analog. Um, and then CTCSS, we want for encode and decode because the repeater is going to expect a 151.4 PL. And then also you don't want to be receiving anything incoming on that channel unless it's also giving you the 151.4 uh, PL. So we've properly entered our analog channel as you can see here. Now, the reason that this channel isn't displaying along with your other channels is because you haven't yet assigned it to a zone. So we're going to look at our zones here real quick. And here, have a look at this with me. We have our DV Mega channels in the DV Mega zone. And then we have this analog channel here sitting off to the side here that's not been assigned to a zone. And that's why it's not showing when you change channels. Now, what we can do here is we can add this analog channel to our DV Mega zone. But it's not a digital channel. It's not really part of the DV Mega channels that you would use uh, for your home hotspot. So instead, while you could technically do this and write to your radio and you would see the channel in that zone, we're going to go ahead and create its own zone here. Um, let me just go ahead and put that back over. We grabbed the wrong one here. We're just going to go ahead and create another zone here. So we're going to say uh, analog. And I'm in Jackson County, Missouri. Jackson County, Missouri, which we'll is to abbreviate it here. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll add this to our analog zone. So now we have two zones. We have our DV Mega with all of our DV Mega channels, and we have our analog with our one analog channel. And now when we go and write this to our radio, what's going to happen is we're going to be able to select between the two zones from the front panel, and we're going to be able to see the channels in each zone. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, N73.